Hello! You always dreamed of working for the Walt Disney Company, but you're not from the United States? The Disney Cultural Representative Program might be your chance to move to Orlando for a whole year! This video is an overview of the program, but I will be releasing more in-depth videos of the different topics that I'm covering today. Let's start with some general information. The Culture Representative Programme, or short CRP, is a special work arrangement with the Walt Disney Company. You actually enter the US on a cultural visa, but you're still allowed to work for the company. Because of that cultural visa, the overall goal of the program is cultural exchange and cultural diversity. So what does that mean exactly? You go to the US in order to learn something about the American culture, but at the same time, you teach others well, specifically Americans, about your own culture and your own traditions. According to Disney, this program is actually really helpful in order to create immersive experiences for the guests and to transport them into different worlds and different cultures. So where do you work? Most CRPs end up working in Epcot, which is one of the four theme parks located in Orlando, Florida. Quick side note, while I was doing research for this video, I actually noticed that some CRPs do not end up working in Epcot. Instead, they work in like Animal Kingdom or other fun places. Since I did my program in Epcot, that's what my channel will focus on. But if you're interested in the other work locations, please check out the Disney website I linked in the description below. In Epcot, they have a special section called World Showcase. And this is the place where they recreated different countries from all over the world. So when the guests travel around the globe, they get to meet the internationals which makes their travels more authentic. Ta-da! I'm a real German. Crazy, right? Up next is the eligibility. You only really need three things in order to participate in Disney's Culture Representative Program. First things first, you need to be at least 18 years old. Secondly, your nationality, so your passport, has to match one of the 10 foreign countries represented in Epcot. Let's see if I can remember them from the top of my brain. Mexico, Norway, China, Germany, Italy, um, France, Morocco, Japan, the United Kingdom, and Canada. Third, but definitely not least, is some kind of English proficiency, which doesn't mean that you have to be fluent at all. Don't get me wrong, but you should be able to communicate confidently with people because that's what you're going to do throughout the whole day, just talking to people in English. So since I kind of already mentioned it, what's your job going to be? Well, you actually become a Disney cast member, which is pretty cool in itself, but as a culture representative, you have like kind of special role because your job is to share your culture and traditions with the guests. Basically, you just interact with people from all over the world visiting Epcot. Most of the time, you just end up talking about your own country. So what are the people like? What's the country like? How's the landscape like? What's the food like? Stuff like that. The guests also enjoy when you speak your native language to them because sometimes they actually had it at school or something and they're able to speak a few words themselves. So that's the general job description. But you end up in an even more specific role. In most countries, there are three different roles you can do. First of all, food and beverage. You'll be selling drinks and food items to the guests. Usually you start in an outdoor working location, but later in your program, you get the opportunity to become a server in some kind of restaurant. Or you work in merchandise which I consider the best option out there. But to be honest with you guys, I'm a bit biased because that's what I did my program in. Working in merchandise basically means promoting and selling the Disney products. And your third option is working in attractions. Most pavilions in Epcot actually have some kind of ride, like Norway, they have the Frozen Ever After ride, or in China, and I think like France and Canada, they have like a movie about the countries, which also counts as an attraction. Some countries, like Germany, sadly do not have an attraction. So being able to work in attractions highly depends on the country you'll be working in at Epcot. 
in this role, you get to lead the people onto the right of the show. And I think at some points, you might even be able to press the buttons that make them magic. Even though each role comes with a specific task set, the main task is still interacting with people. Keep in mind that at some points you might need to do some side duties like cleaning or stocking, depending on your role. So, how long do you stay? Usually the program lasts for 11 months. Still, you might be able to stay a little bit longer. Depending on your own personal visa and the regulations around it, you might be able to extend your program for, I think, up to a month. I got the impression that it's kind of easy to extend, especially if you did a good job so far. Um, so yeah, it's always worth a try. I personally got to extend for a month, which was crazy, because then I spent a whole year in Orlando. Woo -woo. Additionally, your visa actually allows you some kind of travel time after your program, well, most of the time, and then you get to do like a road trip or some other fun travels. It's a great opportunity to extend your time in America for a bit before you finally have to go home. Another pretty important thing is where you're going to live. During your program, you'll be living in Disney housing. This is pretty cool because it's actually a really international experience since you get to share an apartment with other program participants. Disney housing has quite a lot to offer. Fitness centers, swimming pools, transportation to and from work, and actually the other parks and some shopping places, and most importantly, housing events. Fun, fun, fun! All right, so I know you watched this whole video, but what are the main reasons to actually do a Disney Culture Representative program? The main reason is if you love Disney, then this program will be the most magical time of your life. As a cast member, you get pretty cool benefits like discounts on Disney merchandise, and you get free entries to the parks, and it's just all so crazy. They even offer special cast-only events like previews of new rides before the guests get to see them, or you get to be part of a backstage tour where you learn all the details and some fun facts about your favorite attraction. You get a really deep insight on how Disney does business, how the backstage areas look like, and you learn a lot about guest satisfaction and guest service. On top of that, you have your own adventure in Orlando or the US in general if you travel around for a bit, and you get to experience the American lifestyle, which is really open and spontaneous and friendly. And maybe you can even make it to some of the US neighboring countries. You will meet so many people from all over the world, and you will make friendships that last a lifetime. Since you will spend so much time talking to the guests, or your roommates, or your friends, you will definitely improve your English. You will not only learn something about other cultures, you will also reflect your own culture and learn a lot about yourself, and after your program you will definitely be more self-confident. So what are you waiting for? In case you would like some additional information about the program, I will leave some links down below. So where are you from? Would you consider doing a program? Or are you a former CLP and actually already did one? Would you do another one? Maybe you can inspire others by telling them the reasons why. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, stay magical!